The $15 billion Harvey bill after the Senate approved a $15.25 billion hurricane relief package yesterday. Uh, but many Republicans left frustrated after President Trump cut a deal with top Democrats to pair the legislation with a three-month increase in the nation's debt ceiling. And one of those Republicans opposed to the deal joins us now, Tennessee Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Thank you very much. I understand you have placed your vote. How did you vote? I was a no vote because we have a debt ceiling increase and a CR and we don't get those reforms that we need. And I felt like the Harvey and Irma relief, all of these packages should stand alone and not be coupled or have a debt ceiling put on them or a CR put on them. So I would have preferred to see these as standalone votes. And, of course, the House yesterday voted for, and I voted for, the initial hurricane relief uh, package, which is what we should be doing. We put it up by itself on the board and call the vote. Congressman Mark Walker wrote in a letter, and I'm going to read it, uh, while yeah. some have advocated for a clean debt limit increase, this would simply increase the borrowing authority of the government while irresponsibly ignoring the urgency of reforms. Why do you believe that uh, President Trump made this deal in the first place? You know, I, I think he felt like he was clearing the decks so that he could move on to tax reform and health care and infrastructure and broadband. And I appreciate why he did it and understand his frustration. I've got the copy of the letter that we as Republican Steering Committee and you referenced Chairman Walker sent over to the Speaker because we have a list of reforms we want to see. Some entitlement reforms, a balanced budget amendment, some things that get our fiscal house in order because we think it's immoral to pass along this debt to mm -hmm. our children and our grandchildren. You know, the House of Representatives basically needs to now put aside all of its work in order to debate and to vote on this. I mean, is this not just sort of delaying the process of all that is on the agenda for uh, September? Because you guys have your hands full. Well, first of all, we should have stayed here in August and done our work yes. and secondly we do have this but we've known this debt ceiling was coming since may and some of us have been trying to push forward with getting this addressed in a timely manner so it wouldn't be a last minute action but that's why we're finding ourselves here in september and everything is being bundled together and it's being deemed we must pass this mm -hmm. let's separate these issues let's do our work in a timely manner and then let's get on with tax reform, health care reform, and the things the American people want to see. And that's what the president would like to see, too. Um, he tweeted, in fact, today that about an hour ago, Republicans must start the tax reform tax cut legislation ASAP. Don't wait until the end of September. Needed now more than ever. Hurry. So he yeah. is trying to tell everyone to hurry up. Um, is that yeah. something that can be sped through, and will it get done by the October 1st deadline? Well, actually, Chairman Brady has been working on tax reform for months. This is something that has been in process for a period of time. So we want to make certain that it is addressed and we bring it forward. We need to pass our budget, get our reconciliation number, and